Want to get Yahoo, Google, or Windows Live services on the move? Well, now you can. We'll show you how. This is Channel 65. Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome to Channel 65. Now we know that most of you out there are using either Yahoo Mail, Gmail or Hotmail. So today we're actually going to be taking a look at the programs that you can actually download into your Nokia mobile phone that lets you assess your email from these services. Now we know that there are many third party solutions out there as well as the mobile versions of these websites that allows you to assess the email. Now however we think that you know, these official applications that you install within your mobile phone actually will be cost effective as well as time saving. Let's take a look at some of them right now. Yahoo Go is Yahoo's all-in-one solution which comprises of a set of widgets that can be assessed by a carousel at the bottom of the screen. The first is a today screen that lets you assess your calendar, address book, and of course, Yahoo Search. Then of course, is the email widget that lets you send and receive email along with support for attachments. One interesting ability that Yahoo Mail has is push email. When activated, you will receive your emails the moment they reach your inbox. There's also Flickr, which lets you assess your photos as well as view feature photos from the Flickr website. A weather widget and news aggregators for entertainment finance, sports, and world news. There's also a local and maps widget, but according to it, Singapore is just one big empty island. Hmm. One problem with Yahoo Go, however, is that it's sluggish and doesn't work when connected through a Wi-Fi connection. So, make sure you have a good mobile data plan. Windows Live Messenger for Series 60 is a great IM client that gives you almost the same functionality as the desktop version. You could chat with anyone in your account. Send emoticons. have more than one conversation at a time and even send voice clips. In fact, you can send any kind of file through this application. Just like the desktop version, you can also chat with more than one person within the same conversation change your online status and even your appearance through this application. Here's the cool part about this application. It actually handles email by integrating into your phone. Windows Live adds its own section within your messaging menu. Through this, you can synchronize with your inbox to receive new mail. along with its attachments. All in all, this program beats any third-party instant messaging client hands down. The great thing about the Gmail mobile app is that you get all the great features of Gmail, such as Adding a star to your mail, reporting spam, going to a different view you created online, and even searching through your mail. Reading and sending your mail here 
is just like it is on the Gmail website. Your emails are also organized into conversations, letting you keep track of them and helping increase collaboration. The reason why we say that these applications are cost saving is because with these applications you only download the data you need, instead of downloading an entire website. Overall, if you love Gmail, you'll definitely love this mobile application. The last application I want to show you is Google Maps, which actually has Singapore support. With Google Maps, you can have street views as well as satellite views of any location in the world. You can even have a list of favorites so that you can find your way to them from wherever you are. Google Maps even allows you to search for streets. Just remember that Google Maps is international, so be specific when you search for Orchard Road. You'll be surprised by how many Orchard Roads there are in the world. There we go. Here's another feature that I love, directions. Google Maps is able to tell you how to get from one place to another just by giving it a start point and an end point. In this case, I want to go from Orchard Road to Geek Terminal. See that line there? That's where we should go. Oh, and Google Maps eats a lot of data thanks to all those maps. So before trying to run this program, make sure you get a huge data plan or connect through a Wi-Fi connection if a phone supports it. Or you'll be needing directions to get to the hospital when you get your next bill. Google Maps can show traffic information as well, but unfortunately, it's not supported here. So that's it! Now that you know about the mobile versions of your favorite online applications, get out there and start emailing! Uh, uh, uh.